Are these live? Can you guys hear me? Hey. How's everybody doing? Come on, you guys. Come hey. on. Are you guys dead today? Everybody tired? How's everybody doing? Yeah! Cool. You guys are in for a treat today. We had a little bit of time earlier to chat a little bit. I'd love for you to introduce yourself because you are amazing and I'd love to hear a little bit about your company so you can explain it to the crowd. Thanks, John. I'm, I'm Octave. I founded OVH Cloud uh, 20 years ago in five days. Um, we are providing infrastructure for our customers, the platform for the customers. Uh, our competition is the best companies in the world, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Alibaba. And we are the only European company that's providing this kind of the services here in Europe, but also in US and also in Asia. So uh, today company is 2,200 people. We just finished the plan five years that we invested 1.5 billion euro. And we are just started a uh, new plan for five years when we will invest 3.5, 4, 5 billion euro in the data center, in the software, in the different geographies, relationship with the government customers. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I mean, wow. Seriously, kudos to you guys. Wow. Uh, 2,000 people, you guys, he has working for him, started the company 20 years ago. Uh, it's a 20 no year money. startup. I started with no money and I didn't raise, uh, didn't raise any. You guys, he, he bootstrapped this company for 17 years. And then you raised how much? 250 million. 250 million euros, correct? For 20 person. So for I still 20%. own 80 person of company. So I mean, that theoretically puts you as a, as a, in a multi-billion dollar company, but as a billionaire as well, yeah, correct? I think so. Well. Congratulations on that. Now, um, you know, kind of jumping into it, you know, today we're talking about how we compete against these massive giants. Who is, who here really, really struggles competing with these massive giants out here? Okay, we got at least three hands in the crowd. No, I'm just showing it's more than that. How do you compete against this? Like, how do you start? So uh, the, 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 the good thing is that there was the world changement. The, the old world is collapsing and the new world is just building. So it's all based on the data. And for data, you need something that it's cloud. And we are in this top 10 cloud provider on the only European company. So yes, we are inviting, we are focusing on our customers here in Europe and we are doing this job with our values, European way of thinking. And how it's different? There was a lot of differentiation between the American way of thinking, China way of thinking, and also European. In Europe, when you build a company, you have to make money very quickly yeah. because nobody will trust you if you don't make money. So this is what, what I did from beginning and I built a, a company just from nothing. I started, I had zero and then slowly, but roughly uh, uh, about 20 years, we am I making 600 million revenue this year and in the next three years, it will be a billion. So you have a lot of opportunities in the changement of the world. Now, the values is, what is the values? It's all the European story, history that we had here about the wars, about the, the different uh, countries, different languages. I was born in Poland, communist Poland. Okay, yeah. so I know what communist means. Yeah. I just left Poland and uh, came back to France and built this company and uh, understanding really well how all this European ecosystem community is working. And this is, this is how I build a company also across Europe. Then I went to Canada, then I went to US, Asia. In the next steps, it will be the India. I'm thinking about the Africa. Those now, now you guys, he's downplaying this a little bit. When he said he went to, you physically moved yeah. to these countries. So I, I want to point that out as kind of a differentiator because a lot of people don't understand like, oh, when we're going to a different country or going to this, you physically moved to those countries to be ingrained in those cultures, to work with your team, to be one-on-one. -on -one. Explain what that process was like. So uh, in 2003, so really in the early stage, I wanted to be a European company. So we started to make Spain from France. And after one year, it was a fail. So because I was born in Poland, I said, okay, I go to Poland. So I went to Poland and spent one year in Poland building a team 
understanding the local mindset, understanding local needs, working with the customers, and adapting OVH to the local customers. Yeah. And this is one of our values, it's multi-local, it's global uh, acting, but with proximity with our customers. And this is what we did from uh, 2004. Then we, when we copycat this model in Europe, and on 2011, I went to Canada for one year also. I built a very big data center, I built a team from scratch, I, um, 50 pe people, and then I came back to France. And this year I was, uh, in the beginning of the year, six months in the US, in Dallas, Texas, also working with my team, we have 50 guys there, and to trying to understand the customers, the market, the culture, differentiation of the culture. Why? Because what I didn't know that before uh, two, three years ago, but I built a company that's really different. I wanted that this company is different because I just work uh, five weeks in a big company and saying, I, I give up, I, 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 I quit, I cannot anymore, so I, I, I created my company. But I didn't know that this company is so different. And uh, we make this first acquisition in US with uh, 200 people in a company that was 1,500 and uh, we had a lot of culture issues, understanding each other, sharing the values, sharing the mission. Sharing what, were, what were some of the, so just to give you guys background, he purchased what, which company in the US? So it was a VCloud Air, so it's a subsidiary of VMware. Yeah. And uh, we integrate that in our activity in US and uh, migrated all the customers from the existing data center to our data center using the technology from VMware. And then we, uh, we, uh, we, we had all these issues because the people in the US, they are working a different way that we are working in OVH. Yeah. And in OVH, we are really working as, you know, uh, uh, really organically, transversal way of thinking, a lot of agility, a lot of process, but process, smart process, and that helping the people to, uh, to achieve the goals, to achieve the actions. But process is not the base of everything. So yeah. it was a lot of culture shock that we, uh, we had last year, and this is why I spent six months in US learning so much about how and different. It, uh, integrating that in team must have been, not a nightmare, but extremely difficult to mesh your, you know, the culture that you had known, loved, and built for the past, you know, 15 plus years and then meshing a whole complete other culture that was multiple years in the making. Um, what were some of the you know, things that you learned during that process? So what, what I really learned is this, the first, the values and the mission, the dream. Do we share the same dream? What we want to achieve in the next five, 10 years, 20 years? And I'm still thinking every day in the morning about the next five, 10, 20 years, even if this company is so big now, right now, uh, because this is how also in Europe we are thinking. So we are looking in US and other parts of the, of the world, the people that thinking a little bit like the European guys, thinking yeah. about something that is long term, thinking about such you can, you, you can base fundamentals and you, re, you can grow up with that for the years. Yeah. So um, when thinking about expanding to a lot of the different places out there and expanding you know, competing against these massive, massive companies. Do you recommend, you know, purchasing a company or merging with another company to kind of give yourself a little bit more of a competitive edge? Or would you recommend just spending that money and time elsewhere in building? So it's, my experience is without, except US, we grew organically everywhere. Okay. So we started somewhere from scratch and having the first customers and then there, having the first 10,000 customers, 100,000, and then growing uh, different geographies. Uh, so in the next years, in the next five years, because we just finished this plan of the five years, in the next years, I will make the same acquisition. We, yeah. we know that we'll consolidate the market here in Europe, and maybe in US, because this is the great time to do that, about the web hosting, about the different, uh, uh, software companies that they uh, make this very fantastic platforms that we can use and to offer that to our customers. Yeah. Okay, so we have an audience question. Uh, amazing story. What would you advise to folks today living uh, still in an East Bloc country like Ukraine to follow their dreams? 
Where is this question? Okay. Um, so it's it's uh, it's really um, you know uh, Ukraine, Russia, Poland. I uh, I was living there in the other communist and uh, and the, it's there was huge opportunities because there was so many smart guys there with right education, lot of they're hungry, they have a lot of ideas, there's a lot of people and they already have a, a, a small market that they can start on that. The issue is that after going in the one market like Ukraine, like Russia, like uh, Poland, etc., you cannot really be, uh, create a very big company if you are targeting B2C. Yeah. B2C market is really huge uh, step and it's, this is where American guys are very good. Uh, putting a lot of money, different early staging, Serie A, Serie B, et cetera, into growing the, 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 the number of the customers worldwide. Here in Europe, we don't have this framework. We don't have this framework to, to grow very quickly. Yeah. Startups B2C. You're limited. We um, are limited the because- The number of people. We have a lot of people, but they have different languages, they have different currencies, and it's really hard to focus all of them at once. But we are very good in B2B because it's easier to make money on the B2B. It's easier to find of the customers. It's easier to work with the customers and to make very quickly positive uh, uh, business plan. Yeah. So what I recommend, it's also focusing on the B2C or B2B and really in Europe focusing on the B2B market in the different countries and then integrate that across the Europe or going if you are, you are doing B2C going in the in US yeah so take me back a little bit to the beginning um, would you focus more uh, so a lot of us here are starting companies um, founders teams of one to five people you know think me back to those early days would you focus more on keep bringing in revenue to your company or building the best product so today we you can only choose one best product best product yeah best why because best product, we're, we're, we are focusing first on the, when, when you have all this uh, priority, the first is the people inside of OVH. Yeah. This is my first priority. It's they are they happy. Because if they're happy, they will make the great products for our customers. Yeah. Then the second prioritization is customers. Yeah. Are they happy? So what is the relationship? The feedbacks, are we working for them? And the last one is shareholders. It's me, it's my investors. Yeah. Because if the customer, they are happy, the investor will be happy. So this is the way that I build a company and this is why I'm focusing on, on the teams, on the staff and on the products and going with the feedbacks of customers. Excellent. Another audience question from a person in our audience. Um, how do you manage collaboration and a team across multiple different time zones, all across the, across the globe, you have 30 offices, yes. global and worldwide. Um, how do you manage the collaboration among teams, when, especially when there's no like crossover at all yeah. in time zones and working together? Time zones, it's mess. Time zones, it's really a big step. When we started in Canada with first time zone, it was already a big step. So we have different tools. Uh, Video is one of the tools. So every dev, every guy in the company has a screen. And every in the morning, they just uh, connect, log to the chat room with video chat room. So they see all the teams all the day. And with CAS, they are just working together. So working together is one of our value. And we are really pushing the teams to work together in the team about the products, about the customers, about the data center, whatever. But the second challenge is how do you, you you work on the transversal way when you have the projects, yeah. when you want to launch something, when you want to transform the company, everybody has to work together across the different geographies. And this is why I'm not CEO anymore. And now for one year, I have uh, I hired uh, Michel, that is his leading uh, company. Yeah. He is CEO, now I'm chairman, um, in charge of strategy, in charge of the strategic product that I'm developing. And uh, because it was, we need really the, sk the skills that they are really rare yeah. in Europe. We don't have the guys, a lot of people like that, 
that can scale the company that making already 600 million at 20 percent each year, the growth 20 percent. We don't have a lot of people that they are able to continue to grow and to manage this company. I I was lucky. I find of small team that's really smart, really focusing the different. Yeah. But it took me roughly four five years to build this wow. team wow, here wow. in Europe. That's, that's great you were able to find those people. Um, now, speaking about finding those people and kind of, you know, overall, like, looking for things, um, have you ever, do you have a mentor? I started because I'm now a chairman, so I have my, more time. Look, I'm here, so I'm not working every day uh, right now. Yeah. I'm talking more. But also, yes, I, um, I started to mentor some startups because I find out that, wow, OVH, we created something. Why, why OVH succeeded? We, yeah. we started with no money, with the bigger, better competition in the world. We have less capex. We are from Europe. We have everything to say, give up. And yeah. we're still here. We are still growing fast. And you say, why? Why it exists? So I'm trying to explain that, trying to give some feedbacks, the, the, the different tips to, yeah, the, yeah. To, the to, to the different startups to help them to grow and to have more companies that are making 3 million per year, 30 million per year, 300 million per year. And to create an ecosystem of all these companies that they are thinking long term, yeah. not just sell out the company yeah, yeah, after yeah. one, three years and saying, well, I, am, I, I, I quit, I, I make my money. Saying, you can build this company over the years and it can be the pleasure you can have a lot of money it will work in this way if you just think as the european guys they should think that yeah. they were thinking before and now with the digital transformation we lost a little bit of memory how we build the europe before and i think now of the age I, I spend more time to explaining hey guys let's build this ecosystem in europe yeah. Let's yeah, work yeah. together. Let's assemble the product that doesn't exist. And let's build like Amazon, like Google, like Microsoft, the big companies, but not in the capital way. It's not I own everything. I don't want to buy the companies. I want that the companies, they are independent. They grow. But I think we can build that together, working closer, finding the customers. B uh, building the market for 50 million, 100 million customers here in Europe that they are quickly accessible to the new uh, startups, to the, all the companies and growing together faster and having more success that was just sold, sold out to Google, Amazon or whatever. Yeah. I this is it. my dream for the next 10, 5, 20 years. I love it. Hey, you guys, let's give a big hand for Octave. Thank you. Nice work.